Hi there trailer owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hopkins replacement breakaway switch cable and pin. Now on your trailer, if uh, for whatever reason, if maybe some kid thought it'd be funny and he pulled the pin out of your switch, or you did have a catastrophic disconnect and it pulled the pin and something happened where the pin got damaged in the whole event and your switch is still good and you just need to replace the pin, uh, or maybe you had pulled the pin, because uh, some people do think that this is an acceptable way to park your trailer by just pulling the pin. You really don't want to do that. That is not a good way to park your trailer, chalk the wheels. But um, if you had done that in the past and you lost your pin, forgot to put it back in, we do have replacements available here at eTrailer. This one is specifically designed for the new style of Hopkins breakaway switches. This will work with the new style and also the LED models that Hopkins has. We're showing off just one of the regular new styles, not one of the LEDs today, and the pin is missing from it there. So this is what you'll get. You get plenty of wire lead here as well to, to your trailer. The pin simply inserts in the horizontal position, so just like that. And that works properly. Um, if you are, did lose your pin and it's been gone for a long time, it's possible dirt, debris, and corrosion has occurred in that switch. So you would want to test it out before just putting this right back into service. Uh, so make sure you pull your pin and verify that your brakes apply. And we're going to go ahead and just cut our cable here. Now that we've got everything up and running, this is what's going to go to your hitch. To make your connection, you can see we've got plenty of length of lead here to go over to make our connection. And that completes our look at Hopkins replacement breakaway switch cable and pin.